Joe, we kick things off with the week that was. Listen, we're not oblivious. We're not stupid. We always tell everybody we are pretty rational, even-keeled Mets fans. We don't get too high when things are great. We don't get too low when things are down in the dumpster. And as we record this podcast, after the Mets were walked off in Milwaukee, swept by the Brewers on the road, I have full awareness that it's code red, full panic, alarm, and amongst Met fans, the team is three and four before they play their home opener against the Marlins. So, Joe, I don't really have to ask you how you're doing. I just want everybody to know that we will be honest today. We will be as rational as we can, but we are here for a little therapy to kind of dial back and tell everybody that the season's not over before May. If you know me, uh, it's it's no shtick. It's no thing. I am probably the least emotional on a day to day basis with baseball. It's a long of season. Pretty much of pretty much everyone I know, and sometimes I get ripped for it. But I'm going to say this about this Milwaukee series: Can we not stay in haunted hotels? Like the Mets are staying in that Feister Hotel, or however you say that, and it's like, oh yeah, they're staying at this allegedly haunted hotel. I don't know what was in the air. Milwaukee was hitting like the 27 Yankees or something. And uh, just there was no way to get them out. Just obviously a, a terrible series in Milwaukee, uh, fresh off three out of four in Miami. It, it just shows how, how baseball is for the fans. They won three out of four in Miami. That might as well have happened in June of last year because the focus is squarely on this three game series where the offense and pitching, the pitching didn't show up for any of the games. The offense showed up for one of the three games. So uh, obviously a, a really tough stretch. And uh, I, I think the Mets are probably ready to hop on that plane and, and get back to New York. 